In this video, I'm going to give you a list of 5 types of fish that are very cheap and easily affordable. All 5 of these fish are very popular and common, which is why they don't cost as much as most fish. So the first fish on this list is the Neon Tetra. Now, Neons are one of my favorites and they will look absolutely stunning in a planet tank. Their colors of red and blue will match a very good green planet tank. Neon Tetras will really stand out in a community aquarium and they are always very active and darting around. I would recommend getting a small group if you don't have a really big tank, just so that they could be comfortable being around their own species. I keep mine in a 20 gallon in a group of 4 and they seem pretty happy with that. In my local fish store, Neons cost $5 per 3 fish. Now the price ranges will be different, but overall, Neons are not very expensive. If you are a beginner, I highly recommend you looking into these fish as they are not only small, they get along pretty well with just about any other fish. So the first on this list is the Neon Tetra. Now the next fish or group of fish is live bearers. These include mollies, guppies, endlers, and platies. Unlike many, live bearers give birth to live young which means that the fry are free swimming as soon as they are born. In my opinion, I think this is a really good thing as the fry can basically take care of themselves and you won't have to worry about them much. In my local fish store, common guppies cost $2 per fish. And other live bearers usually cost the same. One thing I really like about live bearing fish is that they're really easy to breed once you get a pair of a male and female and if they breed, you'll have an endless amount of fry. If you want an easy to care for fish to breed, then live bears are the choice for you. Number 3 on the list we have the zebra danio, another type of very active fish that are also very easy to keep. These fish get their name from their zebra like stripes that run along their body. Zebra danios originate from eastern India and are suitable for most community tanks. Now the reason I see most is because these fish can get a bit aggressive sometimes. I would say that they're semi-aggressive as they just like to chase around other fish once in a while, but they will get along with most live bears and tetras. Zebra danios grow to around 2 inches and will need at least a 10 gallon tank. I got the four of mine for $12 which is equivalent to $3 per fish. If well taken care of, Zebra Daniels can live for 3.5 years to 5.5. If you're looking for an easy to care for fish that are always active and darting around, then Zebra Daniels are the choice for you. Zebra Daniels are active and whenever I go to see them, they're always swimming and chasing each other. Next up on the list we have the Corydoras catfish or just Corydoras. These are very cute and beginner friendly fish that live along the bottom. Corridors are great scavengers which means they will always be looking for food that ends up to the bottom of the tank. However, you do still have to feed them as the leftover foods will not be enough. Algae wafers, pellets, and eggs are all excellent choices for these catfish. The size of corridors range from 1 to 4 inches, but it all depends on the species. When keeping quarries, it's important to keep them in a fine sand substrate because gravel or other tiny rocks could possibly injure their barbels. They typically only cost around $3 per fish as they are so popular in the fish keeping hobby. The fifth and final fish on this list is the white cloud minnow. There's two main types of these, which is the golden and the common. The ones shown here are the golden white cloud minnows. These fish originate from China and can be found in just about any pet store. White cloud minnows will be one of those fish that you don't have to worry about a lot as they are one of the most hardiest fish in the aquarium hobby. White cloud minnows will not require a heater because they are great cold water fish. These guys will not fight or compete with their tank mates so they will make a great community fish. Another cool thing about these is that they are very cheap and won't cost a lot. In fact, they're sometimes even used as feeder fish. So you can expect a group of 5 to be around 7 or 8 dollars. I really enjoy keeping these fish and they are definitely worth a go. If you want to see the baby white clouds from my last breeding attempt, then click on this video over here. Consider subscribing for more fish keeping videos just like this one. It's free and you will get notified whenever I post. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.